Hi guys. Um, this is my first makeup tutorial. So uh, I posted an Instagram picture a few weeks ago with a cat eye looking very similar to this one. Um, and it's actually based or inspired by Ashley Olsen in this picture. In this picture. And this is just kind of my replication of it. So if you want to figure out how to get this cat eye, then keep watching and I'll see you next time. Okay, we are going in with the Origins Moisturizer, and this is just good to prep your skin with before you do any makeup, and it's good to let it sit before you put on any foundation so it doesn't slip and slide around. And then you're going to go in with your Lorac Eyeshadow Primer. This is to prevent any eyeshadows from creasing and to also prevent any eyeliners from creasing as well. If you have oily eyelids like myself, then you can go in with this MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre just to help ensure that that eyeshadow is not going to go anywhere. And it also helps cancel out any blueness or veins or discoloration that you might have on your eyelids. Now with this Sigma Tapered Blending Brush, I am just going to set that MAC Paint Pot with this Urban Decay Negative Basics palette with just a skin tone colored eyeshadow and I'm just going to sweep it all over the eyelid. Now because I do have hooded eyes I like to go in with this Max Soft Brown Eyeshadow and apply this in my crease area just to give my eyes a little bit more depth. Okay, now with any angled brush, you can use whichever one you prefer. This one is from Sigma. And we are going to use this gel eyeliner, and it is from Rimmel. And we are just going to dab into that. And then you're just going to apply this along your the base of your eyelashes. And you can do the band as thick or as thin as you want. Now, from the corner of the bottom of your eye, you're going to make a straight line towards the end of your eyebrow tail. Now, from the tip of that line, you're going to draw another line connecting that to the first line you made at the bottom. And then you're going to go ahead and fill in the area that is blank. By using a Q-tip and makeup remover and wiping underneath, this will help sharpen your wing. And now I'm going to do the exact same steps on the opposite eye. Okay, now that both of our wings are on and ready to fly away, we are going to just go ahead and curl our lashes and get ready to put mascara on them.
don't mind my messiness. I promise I go back and clean it up even though you might not see it on camera. I'm really not for sure what I'm showing you here. Maybe that what a difference mascara makes, but either way, now we get to see what I do to the other eye. Now it's time for eyebrows and I'm just going to go in with my Brow Wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I like to start at the bottom and fill in any sparse areas and then I go to the top and fill in the sparse areas there and then towards the middle and just make it so my brows are a little bit longer and then I like to blend them out with the spoolie at the opposite end. When doing your eyebrows I think it's important to realize that your eyebrows are not twins by any means. You're lucky if you have sisters as eyebrows, but majority of people have, are long lost cousins and mine are definitely that. So I try to make them as even as possible, but more than likely 99% of the time they're not even close to being the same. So just do what you can with what you got. And I accidentally cut this part out, but I'm applying foundation with this damp beauty blender-ish type of tool. And I like to go and pounce that foundation all over my face and just get a really natural, even application. Sorry, I'm stuttering all over the place. And now I'm just going in with this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is the bomb.com. If you are looking for a concealer, this is awesome and by far one of my very favorites out of any concealers out there. And I don't recommend these mini beauty blenders. They're a waste of money and honestly too tiny to even really do anything. But I had just got to the, just purchased them so I'm using them. Now it's important to remember that anytime you apply a liquid foundation or a liquid concealer you always 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 want to set that with a powder to prevent creasing and this will help an enormous amount. So I highly suggest this and this powder from Rimmel is awesome as well and it is very very affordable. I'm not really for sure what I'm doing I think I was trying to focus the camera. Anyways, I'm going in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer and just taking the ends of the bristles and applying them to my cheekbones to really kind of sculpt out but also give a bronze look and just warm up my face. Now using the NARS Angelica Blush, I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and blending it backwards. I like to do this part just to make sure that I don't have any harsh lines if I do go and sculpt and contour my cheekbones. Now using this Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, just applying it to the bottom of my lashes and you can see how tiny the wand is and it is so perfect for getting right in between those lashes. Now you can go in with any lipstick that you like, but I'm going in with this Maybelline Creamy Matte in Darren Lee Nude. And it's just a really pretty natural nude, and it kind of matched my shirt, which I wasn't really planning on, but what are you going to do? But that concludes this makeup tutorial, and I hope you guys liked it. And please give me a thumbs up and tell me your thoughts. I would love to hear your opinion and some feedback. So yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.